area news coverage starts right now. This is KTVU Mornings on 2. Well, good morning to you. Welcome to Mornings on 2. I'm Dave Clark. Good morning. I'm Claudine Wong. Tori Campbell has the week off. It is Tuesday, November 24th. Steve? Yes, so. One of my 49er heroes, Carmen Policy, is going to be talking to Pam Cook very soon. In the building or? No, he's, uh, he's out of location. Four Super Bowl rings. Is it four or is it five? I think he's got. And how many times did you beat my Bengals? That one time in that Super Bowl. Yes, no. I know. I never. I... <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, as Santa Clara puts the finishing touches on the plans for and the impact of a new professional football stadium, San Francisco is still holding on to the idea of keeping the 49ers in the city. Joining us to talk about the efforts underway is Carmen Policy, the former president of the 49ers, who is leading this campaign uh, to keep the team in San Francisco. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Um, tell us, we've been talking about what, what is before voters in Santa Clara. We certainly know about the Hunter's Point project in San Francisco, which is where the stadium would be there. What are you hearing from the team? Well, we're hearing nothing from the team. The team has made, made it perfectly clear that their in intentions and all of their efforts are directed at Santa Clara. We are dealing with the National Football League as we move forward with our project at Hunter's Point and Candlestick Point. Uh, the basic understanding that we have is that the city of Santa Clara will be finalizing their EIR study and report and they'll probably have this matter on the ballot for the voters of Santa Clara to decide whether or not to accept it so, probably in June. So what are you trying to do to sell the idea to the team to stay in San Francisco? We're moving forward with the idea that ultimately the best and the most progressive and the most iconic opportunity will be at Hunter's Point. And I hate to use this football analogy, but as long as there's time on the clock, we feel we're able to put together the best deal for the 49ers and for the National Football League. As long as we're standing by the time September of next year rolls around, we feel that we'll really be in the, in the game and we'll not only be in the game, but we'll offer the best opportunity for the best stadium. Now, certainly you have your history with the team that we all know about, but why do you care? What, what's in it for you for the team to stay in the city? I care because basically I care about the legacy of the franchise. I care about the city of San Francisco. I care about ultimately what this franchise is going to look like 10 years from now, 20 years from now. I care about my grandchildren going to a game and thinking about the San Francisco 49ers, what they meant to the San Francisco Bay Area and what they meant to the city of San Francisco, where they were born. So it's just a matter of carrying on, if you will, my attachment, my my. my opportunity to be, to be part of this great franchise. What, what about the Lennar Corporation's role in all of this? They're the, uh, the company responsible for um, expanding at the Hunter's Point and this whole project. Uh, what are they bringing to the table? What are they offering to the team? Well, Lennar is bringing, first of all, expertise. Secondly, and very importantly, a great deal of capital. They're bringing various joint venture partners who also are adding expertise and capital. They're bringing the opportunity to submit to the city at the appropriate time the kind of guarantees that will say, yes, all of the infrastructure will be put in place, and yes, this development will move forward as scheduled, as designed, as planned, and as approved, I might add, by the voters of San Francisco. All of our elections for the Hunters Point Candlestick Point project are completed, approved, and resoundingly approved by the people of San Francisco. All right, now we're going to have to go, but before you go, um, what, what if the team does go to Santa Clara and you have this plan and you have it okay to get a stadium? Will you try to get another team there? Well, the fact of the matter is, and the, and the beautiful part of this whole project is, the project goes forward with or without the San Francisco 49ers. It goes forward with or without a new stadium. There are alternate plans for other forms of development, other forms of higher use of the property in the event the 49ers or another team does not wish to locate in the city. All right, Carmen Policy, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to continue to follow this story as it uh, develops. Thank you.